Hello. This is the group assignment of Commercial Law 1013 which is about the elements of contract. The group members is Adib Helmi, Enkude Lami and Ahmad Fakhruddin. Theory Explanation Today, I will share with you about the fourth elements in a valid agreement, intention to create legal relation under family arrangement. I hope you can understand what I want to share here. So, what is intention to create legal relation? Intention to create legal relation means that parties to the agreement are ready to face circumstances if fails to perform obligation under the agreement. Contact Act 1950 is silent on the intention to create legal relations. But, case law clearly dictates the necessity of this requirement. Reference can be made to English law where intention to create legal relations can be recognized by using the objective test as in Carlyle v. Carbolic Smoked Ball. To recognize intention to create legal relations in an agreement, the agreement is split as either family arrangements or business negotiation. Family arrangement. The law treats family arrangement as an agreement without intention to create legal relations. However, the rule can be denied. If there is proof to show intention to create legal relations, the agreement is enforceable. Business negotiation. In business negotiation, parties to agreement H supposed to have intention to create legal relations. However, the rule can be denied. An example is in Carlyle v. Carbolic Smoked Ball, where defendant fails to deny an intention to create legal relations. Ramla, now we already married. I'm as your husband have responsibility on you. How about we make a promise? What are the promise? The promise is I need to give the alimony to you of a month which is 1,000 ringgit. Do you agree with me, honey? What? Are you serious? Okay, I agree with your agreement, honey. Thank you, I love you so much. Honey, I don't know what to say but... I have two news which bad news and good news. Oh darling, don't make me nervous. What are the news honey? Don't you dare want to marry with another one ha ha ha. Ha 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 so funny. The good news is, I already get promoted by my company. But the bad news is, I was sent by my company to England for one year to make a project there. Oh darling, don't be sad. I'll always by your side and support you. Thanks honey. I will not forget about the agreement we make past two years ago. Don't you worry okay? Love you. The time has come darling, I will miss you so much. Take care. Don't forget the promise you make to me. Don't worry honey, I will not forget about the promises we make. The train has come. Goodbye honey, love you, see you soon. Why your face looks weird, Rambla? Do you forget about your promise? Yes, but I'm sorry. I cannot fulfill the promise. Are you serious? Why you do this to me? I will take action on you. So, your husband make a promise to give you alimony 1000 ringgit per month? Yes, he make the promise but he broke it. Yes, I make the promise but there is no contract between us. Mrs. Rambla did not file the formal order. Yes it's true what Mr. Ahmad said. There is no proof to create legal relations. So your claims can be rejected by court. This case based on Balfour v Balfour.
The defendant left his wife in England. He is on duty to Ceylon. He fails to fulfill his promise to send alimony of 30 a month. When his wife sued, the court held that there no contract. Plain he fails to prove intention to create legal relations.